I'm getting my line reset. I was gone for a week and then it's kind of with the uh, being gone, getting back uh, everything else going once I got home. It's ended up being about two weeks, but uh, managed to get out yesterday. And get, I think I had nine sets put in yesterday, so I'm going to check those this morning to get a few more hopefully put uh, put in today and just kind of bring you hopefully some catches here pretty soon uh, to get these back in working order and start catching some critters. First couple were empty. Come to this one, I can see actually some fur out there in the water. So we'll slide down the bank here and see what it is. So it ended up just being a nutria, uh, shocker. But um, I had had a couple questions about what I look for when I'm trying to find a beaver run, and this is what I'm trying to catch here. And what I look for is like th this is right on the river, and this is kind of a little back eddy that comes in here, so it's a little bit calmer water. And you know, there's some chewings around too, but um, uh, so somewhere I get a pinch point, there's a tree right here, and then a big old trail that goes up into uh, and over the field, and there's another lake on the other side of this. So it's a you know, big crossover, well used, kind of by everything that's hence the nutria. But anyway, that's what I'm looking for something that's beat down. And when I get to the water, I got somewhere, somewhere to pinch them down. So Anyway, hopefully uh, the beaver that I was trying to catch will come through here and won't be a whole slew of nutrients. So this is another one of those areas that I'm, you know, just clogging all the pinch points. I've got a 330 right there, there's a log that uh, the water flows under. And then a little farther on that same channel, got another 330 underneath that log. And then on this other side of this, I've already caught a few critters in this year, got this reset up. And today, another nutria, but anyway, it's just all that water's got to go somewhere through these branches and logs, anywhere I can pinch it off, but it seems to be a good spot. So get that one reset, and hopefully get something a little better coming through here. That wasn't exactly the glorious return to my line that I'd hoped for, but a couple catches nonetheless. And a couple more sets out, so hopefully uh, some better critters later in the week. Well, good start to the morning. First set uh, is gone, so I wander over here in the mud and see if, uh, what we got. Hopefully not another nutria, but you never know. And another nutria. Just can't seem to get rid of them. I will reset it. Eventually, I will catch a beaver here. So this set turned out to be a good one. Finally picked up something this week other than the nutria. So, another nice big beaver. Uh, so, anyway, get that reset. We got uh, all these little channels blocked off, but for some reason this seems to be the one they're using. So, we'll reset this one for sure. Okay, got it all remade. Uh, once again, pretty simple. Just water flowing under a log, 330 back in there. Uh, obviously, the channel will want to come down. So, hopefully, we'll keep uh, picking up the curve, but we're going to keep on moving down the line. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to break in every single one of these new beaver sets with Nutria. I guess that's what happens when you move. Uh, <laughs> they seem to find them first, but uh, the beaver knocked down. There's, my cast around a little bit there, so reset this and hopefully uh, pick him up tomorrow. Got that one out and got that uh, set working again. And I didn't have to go very much farther, and here's another one. It's a dryland set. But uh, anyway, I guess they're pretty thick through here since I haven't uh, set this area before, but we'll get it reset. Uh, I was kind of hoping there's. 
a bunch of otters flying through these trails, so I was hoping to pick up otters, but then the new tree is out first and hope the otters still come. Well, I guess the good ones keep coming. Uh, picked up this skunk. It's kind of a bummer. This is actually a really good spot. You know, to, uh, this uh, road that comes along down through here and then just over the dike here is the river, so anything cruising the edge of these fields was right by this, but I guess Mr. Skunk beat Mr. Coyote to it. So, uh, it's not like it's too torn up, so if I can get this out of here without totally nuking the area, uh, we'll get it reset. Yeah, another day, another nutria. So that one was going up river. But the set turned out to be a real good one, catching something almost every day. Yeah. Keep these guys out of it. Hopefully, catch the otters. I know are coming through here. I just don't seem to keep the nutrients out. But uh, there's another one. We get reset. A little different something for this set today. It's a raccoon. To get a little better look at this, it looks like he's missing some fur off his tail. I don't know if that's he got caught in something or I don't know if raccoons get mangy or not. But that tail doesn't look very good. So we may we may look at releasing this one or. He's getting a better look at it before it goes in the back of the truck. A little follow-up on the raccoon from yesterday. Apparently I had my lens cover on, so uh, ended up, when I went back to get my catch pole to release it, it decided it was going to cross the creek and went down the slide wire. So by the time I got back, uh, it was a keeper versus a releaser. So um, turned out the tail wasn't too bad, so it didn't really matter. I just kind of bunched it together on the board and it'll be what it is. So. Uh, that's kind of the update on that, and we're uh, out checking today to see if we can add some fur to the, to the week total. Coming into the next set, and I had this trail set up here. Actually, some otter sign on it, but we picked up a nice big raccoon. Uh, it's nice and dark. He's got kind of a stumpy little tail, though. I've caught a couple over the years that haven't had a tail at all, but looks like he's got about a halfer. So, get this guy pulled out and get it reset. Okay, last catch of the week. We'll visit the mink box and catch a possum. So this kind of happens. He's got a ziplock around his head except the bait was in the back of the box and then apparently he managed to get his head in there before he got caught. But first possum of the year um, and last catch of the week. So it's going to wrap this up. Be back at it next week. Got a couple weeks of the season left and hopefully we can start catching some better critters. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.